Hello there everyone and welcome back. Today I have a special tour for you. This was a subscriber request. Princess Nisha asked me to make a home for an up-and-coming star and I thought nothing would suit it better than to make a nice two-story penthouse here. So we have a nice area up top and then down below is an even more beautiful area. But this home is for Miss Hazel here and I've even made a silly little picture I can't Photoshop, guys, but I made that just for laughs. But let's look at Hazel here. She's actually getting ready to go to the awards show, and she's practicing her poses for the camera and how she's going to look, and I think she just looks beautiful. So let's take a tour of her home here. You saw the top deck a little, but we'll take a better look at it here in just a second. But when you get off the elevator, you're actually still outside. I've made a nice courtyard here with some flower beds lining each side of it and a staircase there in the middle that pops up to that second floor balcony that's great for entertaining and then back down here we go and we're going to come over here to the left where we have an indoor outdoor kitchen so the outdoor kitchen is actually on an enclosed porch but the eating area is just outside and i love now that we can put the table and chairs just by the doorways I really hope that doesn't go away, but that's the eating area for outside. And then coming over here to the right, we have a fireplace area. And then on the outside of that little porch, we have a nice seating area, a plant and a lamp. So as you can see there, it's still enclosed, the fireplace there. And then we have that seating area. So coming back into the courtyard and through the front door, we have a beautiful, great room. I tried to keep it simple with lots of contrast. We have a seating area over here with a TV and those two beautiful black lamps. And over here, a simple dining area, a stainless steel fireplace, and a bar area. Notice I've included the stainless steel staircase. I haven't used that in a long time. But over here, we have a little reading area. It's just a nice little area with a couple of love seats, one of the new plants, some new tables, lamps, and one of those new bookshelves. I'm loving this new furniture, and I really can't help myself. I have to include it in builds, at least for right now. And here we have our office, where we have a computer here, just a stereo, a phone, and a seating area over there. So that's her little office there, where she can check her email or play around on the computer. And then coming behind this love seat here, we have a galley kitchen. Remember, she's a star, so she doesn't really do a lot of cooking. She does have a maid who lives in, but she just doesn't have a lot of clutter. It's a simple galley kitchen. I use the aged brick in here, and I love that look with the black and white. And it also has a door out to the outdoor kitchen. Now coming behind the staircase here to the other side, we have the laundry area. Again, very much in love with these new items. And I've used the aged brick in here as well. And then over here we have a guest bath for this floor. And I'm really liking those items against the aged brick. And I always forget to turn this vanity on. I don't know why I forget to do that, but it's a cute little bathroom. So that's the first level there of her penthouse. I tried not to make too much black and white, but just enough for a lot of contrast. I really like that courtyard entrance too. So let's come upstairs here and let's take a look at what she has up there. You come up here to a little hallway. So up here we have a little bit more color. I've used a golden tone on some of the walls. She has a gym on one side that has windows that looks out into the courtyard. And then coming through the hallway, I've just decorated a nice table at the end of that. And then we have an exit to go out to the courtyard. But right here is her maid's quarters. So her entrance is kind of on the exterior of the home for privacy. She has a nice little bedroom there and her own bathroom. I've used the urban furniture for her bedroom. And then she has a little black and white bathroom here. And that's good because she has her own little exit and she can actually just pop right down the stairs to the first level and get on the elevator from the staircase in the courtyard. So let's go across the hallway to, which is pretty much all dedicated to the master suite. So here we have the bedroom area 
where I've done the black and gold against the black and white. You know that's a color combination that I really enjoy. So I've used that in here for her and I think it really worked. And I put a little drink cart for her in case she wants a drink and doesn't wanna to have to go all the way downstairs. In here is the master bath, which I divided up into a vanity area, a toilet area, and then a tub and shower area, which is kind of hard to see, but she also has a little linen shelf in there with candles and towels. That way she doesn't have to leave the room to get those things. Now coming in here and we're going to see her again, what she's doing. She's just gotten dressed and she's getting ready for her show. But I just wanted you to take a look at this gown and how I've dressed her up. And I just think she's beautiful. I love that gown. I love that color anyway, but I think she looks so pretty in it. And then coming across from the closet, we have another private little room here where she can just sit and read and watch TV without having to go downstairs. I've just put a simple lounge chair in there, a bookshelf, and her television. So that is the second level of her penthouse for Miss Hazel there. So Princess Nisha, I really appreciate your request. This was a very fun build. I tried to make it really symmetrical and simple and neat in case anyone wanted to recreate it. I'm gonna show you the furniture real quick. Let's start back here with the entrance from the elevator. Of course, we have the courtyard here. And then we have this outdoor area with the fireplace on the enclosed porch. And then we have the bathroom for the guests downstairs. We have the laundry area. And then we have the dining, living room, and bar area here. And then we have the kitchen area, nice and simple. And then we have the outdoor kitchen here with the exterior dining area. And then coming down here in this direction, we just have a small hallway. We have her office, and then we have the library, the small library. And then coming upstairs, we have just the hallway here. Then we have her workout, her gym area. And then we have the maid's quarters over here. And of course, we have the patio up there that overlooks the city. And then we have the master suite here with the bathroom, the bedroom, and of course, her closet area and her reading area here. So very simply furnished, not overdone, at least I don't think it is, but I wanted to make this penthouse for the up and coming star, Miss Hazel. So again, Princess Nisha, I hope you like this. I hope this fulfilled your request and I hope you guys liked it too. If you did, please give me a like. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Hope everyone has a wonderful day. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.